Hello, this is Seamus and 7 myww Today's video, I thought I would do an unboxing of something I picked up from Amazon, and it's a new soldering kit. I, uh, I have never had a, a decent soldering station, but I thought I would go ahead and, and go ahead and buy one. I have an old soldering pen from the old Radio Shack days. It's, it must be 30 years old, and I never use it, and I decided I'm going to start I'm going to start getting back into doing some circuit work, maybe uh, for when there needs repairs need to be done. Definitely for antenna building, which I've already started doing. So I decided to splurge and get myself a, a nice little soldering station. Now I have not uh, actually taken this out of the box yet. It came in from Amazon. Uh, unknown name, not really familiar with the brand, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And I don't usually do unboxing videos super often, but this one sounds fun. So didn't cost a lot of money, fortunately. Soldering kits are all over the place. Uh, well, looks like the manual is it's not too bad. It's in Chinese and English both. Not much you need to worry about when it comes to the station. This one has some nice little uh, nice little things to it, some feature sets that I wanted to try. Now, uh, I did, uh, didn't take anything out of the box, but I did throw some old solder that I had in there. Looks like it comes with the usual. I'll give you a small little uh, coil of solder. And there's the, uh, there's what we used to call the Brillo pad. Looks like it comes with a set of tips. And uh, the extractors. Let's pull this on out of here. And it uh, comes with a couple of other goodies. There's the pen itself. Yeah, it looks very nice. Um, the, uh, the quality of the build is just, it's not super high grade. I mean, these aren't, considering what I paid for it, uh, the grade's not going to be super high. But um, looks like it, uh, looks like it's going to work out for me. It's just a standard plug-in. Um, comes with a temperature, variable temperature um, display. And that's really about it. There's not a lot to say with this thing. I have not used it yet, of course. As you can see, it's brand new. Um, if I remember correctly, I paid $22 or $25 for this on Amazon. Um, how well is it going to work? I don't know. I, uh, as soon as I get it up and running, I'll go ahead and do another, uh, another video about it. But from, from what I'm seeing, it looks like it's, uh, like it's going to be a halfway decent model. Um, doesn't doesn't seem like it's going to uh, to be anything super super cheap. But the price was really good. Like I said, about twenty to twenty five dollars on Amazon. So I don't know if this shows a model number of what it is. Uh, let's see, the X 3 um, doesn't say anything more than that. So just your your typical uh, made in China soldering station, but. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to do some antenna work probably next week. And so I'll do another separate video. But this was just to, to show what I have going on with it. It comes with everything to, that, you need to, that you need to get going. And I have a love-hate relationship with Amazon. I mean, yes, you can find some great stuff. You can get them fast, especially if you have Prime. But uh, it also, uh, unfortunately, means that there's a, a lot more uh, <laughs> freight for me at work, which is okay, too. And the tip's really nice on that. So it looks like uh, it looks like a pretty decent model. There's a rubber grip on the on this part here. Uh, first thing I'll probably do. Whoops. First thing I'll probably do is uh, go ahead and tin some ends of some of the antennas that I've been been dealing with. I did make myself uh, an infed half wave, a couple of dipoles um, with some wonderful copper wire, and I'm going to probably probably do that and then do some connectors. But I am going to the Seaside CPAC Ham Convention next weekend, the weekend after next, on uh, May 31st, June 1st, and 2nd. So I'll be there, and um, maybe I'll find some more accessories. But for now, uh, this is a little video showing exactly what it is. I thank you for watching. I really do appreciate uh, anybody who gives me a thumbs up or uh, subscribes. There's, there's no money involved. I don't do Patreon or anything like that. Not looking for, for money at all in these things, but I really do enjoy the ham radio hobby. I have been licensed now for 39 years, coming up on year 40, starting next February. It's been a fun, fun ride, and I 
I just continue to enjoy ham radio so much. And small little things like this make it fun to, to get into parts of the hobby that I haven't done since I was quite young. Uh, I became a ham when I was in my late teens. So, or actually I was still a, a junior in high school. So, first licensed in 1985. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate that. Please subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to the next video. This is Seamus N7MYW saying 73.